How are you everybody? Upon your request, today I will start our first episode of the Excel for FB and A and Cost Management. In these episodes, I will show you the key Excel functions you should know to build your financial modeling in Excel. Also for better cost controlling. Let's talk today about two topics. The first, how to create dynamic and interactive shapes with variable content. The second, how to use dynamic formatting effects. And finally, and as usual, we will featuring the expert's advice for the financial modeling in Excel. Let's go. To create your dynamic shapes, go to the Insert tab. Select your favorite shape by clicking the Shapes button. Now drawing your shape. Now select your shape, and you will find that Shape Format tab becomes available. Now your shape is ready for formatting. I prefer the following formatting. Click the Shape Fill tab, select your favorite color. Then select your favorite gradient, I prefer the dark variations. Select your shape outline. Then select your shape effects, you can click any of these tabs or options. Shadow, Reflection Glow, and so on. For me I prefer the round or angle bevel. Also, you can use the shape style options on the format tab to change the style. Now assign a cell to your shape as follow. Select your shape, then click in the formula bar. Type equal and then select your cell and press enter. But take care, don't forget to type equal, then to press enter. Now the value in the shape will change as the values of the cells change. Now right click and select the format shape tab. Click text options, then click the text box and select the following. Resize shape to fit text. And allow text to overflow shape. Finally, you can use the alignment tab. As you see, you can resize your shape manually and align text and values. Now, test your shape. Does it work? Now, the dynamic formatting effects by using icon sets, data bars, and the color scales to highlight your data. I will show you the simple way or the default rules just for clarification. And you can apply your favorite rules by using Manage Rules bar. Let's start with the icon sets. Select your desired range of cells. Also, you can select the whole table that you want to apply conditional formatting to. Click the Conditional Formatting tab. Click the Icon Sets tab and select your desired icon sets. For me I preferred the directional, 5 arrows colored. As you see, the icons will represent the values in the selected cells. You can also click on the more rules to apply more icon sets rules. For example, you can format all cells based on their values by displaying each icon according to the rules that you want. First select the icon style. I prefer the three symbols, circled or uncircled, also the four arrows colored. Then apply you rules by determine the values rule for each icon you want. Now format cells by using data bars. Again, select your desired range of cells, or whole table that you want to apply conditional formatting to. Click the Conditional Formatting tab. Click the Data Bars tab and select your desired bars. For me I prefer the Gradient Fill, Green Data Bar. Also, you can apply More Data Bars rules, by click on the More Rules, as we did with the Icon Sets rules. Finally, format cells by using color scales. Follow the same steps as for data bars and icon sets. But I rarely use this option. 
I prefer to use it in other reports. Now accelerate your learning path by asking the experts. In one of his posts, Anders Lou Lindbergh has shared 10 Excel functions you should know to do better financial modeling in Excel. For example, some ifs, if error, the XIRR or the internal rate of return, and the XNPV for the net present value calculations. Also, the PMT the financial functions calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. And so on. Another advice but by another expert is this time. In one of his posts, Asif Masani advised the Microsoft Excel users to use this sheet. It is the Microsoft Excel Formulas Cheat Sheet. He stated that he found it very helpful to have this sheet printed and pinned to his desk, so that he can quickly refer it when needed. This sheet includes all the basic formulas that are used in Excel, plus a few tips and tricks. For example, data and time formulas, counting and rounding formulas, text formulas, and the key essential finance formulas. And so on. In the next episodes, I will try to show you in detail how to use these functions and more in your financial modeling. See you.